Good morning. Take two. I don't know whether you all heard take one, but um, I've swapped from Wi-Fi to 4G because uh, I think our Wi-Fi connection's a bit dodgy. So, Dr. Lucy here, as you all know. Um, this morning, this morning I'm talking weight loss and optimism. Now, some of you know I have another hat. Um, uh, another colleague and I run wellbeing retreats for doctors. So they're mindfulness and wellbeing. And on the weekend I was doing um, some preparation for a talk. So as part of this talk, you know, we talk about things like resilience and mindset, all those sorts of things. Um, and it's amazing how much of the stuff is translatable on for, for weight loss and health, real health. You know, what's our slogan? Real health and weight loss. So one of the amazing things was uh, optimism. So, and this came under the umbrella of resilience. Now, resilience is your ability to bend, if you like, or bounce back from difficult situations. So it's really about how you thrive or flourish when the, when, when the, when the times are tough. Now, we're in lockdown in Melbourne. As you can see, we're also, see my, see my window there? The weather is also rubbish. So we're in lockdown and it's rubbish weather. Now, I'm not gonna pretend this isn't difficult. We don't need to Pollyanna it and just pretend everything is fine. It is very, very hard for many people. But, there's always a but, this is the difference. So you can, and we can control our thoughts, you can direct all your thoughts about this situation to all the difficulties within it, or you can find anything that might be going well. Now that doesn't, when we do that, that doesn't diminish the suffering that, or recognizing, sorry, it doesn't diminish the recognition that some people are suffering in this lockdown more than others. I absolutely recognize that, that there are some people in cafe owners, for example, or people who have just had their livelihood snapped out from under them in a two week period. There is no doubt that that is way more stressful than for somebody like me who still gets to go to work, um, whose kids are older, who's not homeschooling, okay? This is that concept that we are all in the same storm but we're in different boats. Now, optimism though is looking for no matter what the situation is for some shred of positivity and then moving your thoughts to that. So when we do that, we actually change our brain structure and we move from feeling like helpless victims, if you like, into people that have a little more hope and a little more ability to see past this storm. Now, how does this help with weight loss? <laughs> well, when we have hope, and the ability to see past this storm, then we are less likely to go and soothe ourselves with our previous junk food options or alcohol. There are two things. What do we do when we're distressed? We self-soothe and people self-soothe in this day and age with food, alcohol, and honestly, um, phones, scrolling or playing games on your phones. There are three top things that we use for self-soothing. Now, in small doses, these aren't a problem. You know, if you play Tetris once a week, big deal, unless it's for eight hours, then it's probably unhelpful. But if you're finding that, you know, you're just scrolling mindlessly on your phone for hours and you're not connected with your family and you're running late for work, hmm, I wonder who I'm talking about here. <laughs> My thing, that's one, that's the thing I have to work on these days. I've worked on the food, I've worked on the alcohol, the gaming is what I do when I feel a bit distressed. It's something I recognize and how do I fix it? I randomly delete all the games from time to time and have a break. Sometimes I'll bring them back and then when they get too, when they start encroaching on my life too much, I let them go. But what I do do is I am an eternal optimist. Now I know that some of optimism is genetic and, and just your personality, but you can, cultivate optimism. So as an example for today, right, 
it's cold. Like look at the sky up there. It's blooming grey as grey. It's windy. It's icy. It's not weather where you feel like going out and forest bathing. So what do I do? I go, oh, I'm not a, I, look, I, I really don't like the cold. It doesn't go well with me. <laughs> my ears get cold. My ears hurt. My nose runs. I just, it's just not my thing. So what do I do? I go, okay, it's cold. It's hideous. <gasps> but I love scarves. Okay, so this week you're going to be seeing me wearing lots of scarves because this is the thing that winter offers for me, scarf wearing season. So then I go, oh, well, I guess I can focus on wearing my beautiful scarves. I love them. They make me feel good. This particular one was given to me by a patient. How kind is that? Um, so then I focus on that bit of it, not the fact that it's crappy, hideous weather. I can't change the weather. I can't change. It's winter. I live in Melbourne. It's winter. I can't change any of that. So getting angry or fighting or, or, or being all shouty about the weather is unhelpful. What can I do? I find the silver lining, if you like. And practicing that component, practicing finding the silver lining is a habit. And when you practice it regularly, it just starts coming into your life. So there we go, lovelies. That's my chat for today. Practice the silver lining. Um, little side note. For those of you who are interested, we've had a few email inquiries about our birthday bundle. Actually finishes in a week. So if you did want to have a look at it, it is involves the Doctor's Complete Guide to Low Carb Living, which is a four-week program, a standalone four-week program, all about the food, the hormones, and all those things you need to know about low carb living. It includes a 30-day hypnosis program, which has wonderful hypnosis sessions to hand, handle that uh, harness, sorry, that subconscious. And it includes a sugar addiction masterclass by me, the sugar addiction queen. Have a wonderful day, darlings. Stay warm if you're in Melbourne. If you're not, if you're in Queensland, enjoy and have a wonderful week. See you tomorrow. Bye, darlings.